G'day guys, my name is Tim Guest from Infinite Wealth and today we are talking the top five Melbourne hotspots for 2022. Now before we get into it, if you wanna find out how we help our clients quickly build an asset base that pays them $2,000 a week or more in passive income, pays their home off up to three times faster and saves them thousands in tax every year, then simply click the link on offer. Now Melbourne has spent more time in lockdown than any other city, yet has continued to deliver markets with rising activity and strong prices. It speaks volumes for the defiant resilience of this city. Now, in Terry Ryder's latest quarterly survey, he has identified 153 suburbs which managed to maintain upward momentum with sales activity despite all the restrictions which have afflicted the market. And that's including a lockdown that extended from early August through to late October. Now, this is the third highest total of rising suburbs in the six years he's been conducting these quarterly surveys. It represents a drop from the 224 rising suburbs in the previous survey three months earlier and the one before that, which identified 196 rising markets. But it is a surprisingly strong performance in the circumstances. To put those 153 rising suburbs amid lockdown into perspective, the six surveys which occurred from the mid-2019 until the end of 2020 found the following numbers of suburbs with rising sales activity. Two, zero, 21, 69, 32, and 25. Yes, now one of those 2019 surveys found zero suburbs with rising momentum as the Melbourne market struggled in the aftermath of the previous boom from 2013 to 2017. But the four quarterly surveys conducted in 2021 have found 127, 196, 224, and 153 rising suburbs. If Melbourne can remain restriction free, we expect the next survey to find a greater number of growth markets. In the circumstances, we think it's surprising that Melbourne has maintained such healthy levels of sales activity and an even more impressive performance on price growth. Some precincts across the Melbourne metropolitan area have delivered excellent results in this latest survey. The common feature of most of these well-performed areas is that they are at the more affordable end of the Melbourne market. So in Wyndham City, in the far southwest of Melbourne, uh, all eight suburbs included in this report remain classified as rising markets as they were in the previous quarterly survey. And the Hume local governmental area in the north of Greater Melbourne area, 11 of the 12 suburbs are classified as rising markets. Over in the far west, the Melton local governmental area has continued to extract strong demand from buyers chasing affordability. 11 of the 13 suburbs are classified as rising markets. And if we go down to the far southeast, the KC LGA has delivered similarly strong outcomes with 12 of its 15 suburbs, notable for maintaining upward momentum in sales activity. Even some of the middle market areas that offer relative affordability or that are perceived to offer good value of money in the expensive city have also maintained strong levels of sales activity. In the Moreland City area, north of the Melbourne CBD, 10 of the 12 suburbs are rising markets. Monash City is another good performer with seven of its 11 suburbs classified as rising markets. Melbourne has defied the negative impacts of multiple long lockdowns to deliver consistently solid growth in prices right across the metropolitan area. And while Melbourne's overall price performance is less spectacular than other jurisdictions, as an example, 25 Melbourne suburbs have grown 20% or more as compared to 57 suburbs in Sydney. But it is extraordinarily positive in the circumstances. Around 95% of Melbourne suburbs have recorded growth in their median house prices in the past year, and 97% have had growth in the last quarter. Only nine suburbs across the Melbourne metropolitan area have experienced a decline in the median house prices in the latest quarter, which coincided with the city's latest long lockdown. Of the 283 Melbourne suburbs, in our price analysts, 270 have recorded price increases, uh, including 235, which have grown by 5% or more. Over in the unit markets, 180 of the 224 suburbs with substantial unit markets have recorded annual price growth, including 120, which have lifted 5% or more. So that gives you an update on how things have been performing. Now it's time to get into our top five Melbourne hotspots for 2022. Starting us off at number five in our top five Melbourne hotspots for 2022 is the city of Hume. So the Hume local governmental area in Melbourne's north is the fastest growing area in Australia and that comes from the Housing Industry Association. Its affordability, availability of vacant land and good transport links have made this precinct a favourite spot in Victoria for first home buyers. Despite recent, uh, sorry, despite repeated coronavirus lockdowns in 2020 and 2021, sales transactions in the suburbs of the Hume LGA have continued to rise 
pushing up property prices. It was one of the standout areas of Melbourne in the summer 21-22 edition of Terry Ryder's Price Predictor Index, with most of its suburbs classified as rising markets. The region is benefiting from extensive private and public investment under the North and West Melbourne City deal, which targets 66 infrastructure projects. Merrifield City, Merrifield Business Park, Beveridge Intermodal Freight Terminal and the Sunbury train line upgrade are just some of the mega projects creating tens of thousands of jobs and propelling the local economy through COVID-19. New land estates opening up, attracting young families and first home buyers have been priced out of the inner city and middle ring suburbs. The development of residential areas is being accompanied by the construction of schools, community infrastructure and improvements to transport. And the city of Hume remains a relatively affordable option and can expect further benefits from government spending and improved infrastructure, which is being put in all in the coming years. Now, next at number four in our top five Melbourne hotspots for 2022 is Casey City. So the city of Casey is one of Melbourne's strongest property markets with massive sales levels and strong price growth. Its affordability has made it popular with first home buyers. Vacancy rates are below 1% in most postcodes in this local governmental area. Population growth and spending on infrastructure are the drivers behind a strong local economy. And the Victorian government has marked Narrow Warren for future development as a major urban employment hub and Berwick as a key health and education precinct. An upturn in commercial development activity began in 2015 with at least five major projects creating 3,730 new jobs. And in addition, the planned Berwick Health, Innovation and Education Precinct is expected to provide 11,000 new jobs and the Casey Central Town Centre will require over 5,000 workers. In the meantime, major upgrades to the Cranbourne Metro Trail Line are being carried out, creating 1,000 jobs. Rapid population growth in the area demands new housing estates and with improved access to central Melbourne via the Monash Freeway, Casey promises to be a strong performer for property owners. Moreland LGA comes in at number three in our top five Melbourne hotspots for 2022. So the suburbs of Moreland LGA showed strong resilience during the pandemic months and continued to maintain good growth. In the past 12 months, many suburbs have recorded double digit growth in their median prices. Proximity to the CBD, good transport links, and major education employment hubs are among the core factors driving the Moreland City property market. The area is easily accessed by CityLink and is well serviced by two metro train lines and is close to both the Essendon and Tullamarine airports. It's also important that its connection to the education and medical uh, employment hub of Parkville which engages tens of thousands of people, including 10,000 professionals and 7,000 students in the biomedical precinct, while over 100,000 students attend the University of Melbourne and the RMIT University. By demand and property prices have shown resistance to the general Melbourne downturn and have good long-term prospects. Apartments remain affordable and are in suitable price range for first home buyers. Moreland City has a higher than average number of renters and provides solid rental returns for apartments. Vacancies are expected to fall now that the Victorian Government's International Student Arrivals Plan is in place. It will see foreign students returning to Melbourne as of late 2021 and early 2022. Getting down to our top two now and coming in at second on our top five Melbourne hotspots for 2022 is Monash City. So Monash's massive hospital and medical precinct supported by extensive high-tech industries gives the city of Monash the largest concentration of jobs in Melbourne outside of the CBD. And this is a key reason why unemployment has been at at least two basis points between the state and the national averages for eight years and was just 4.0% in June 2021. A construction boom is currently underway with a common trend being to knock down older buildings and replace them with larger houses or multi-unit developments. Dozens of projects are currently under construction or in the pipeline across the Monash local governmental area and there has been major renewal and redevelopment in Glen Waverley in the past few years while the Clayton Health and Education Precinct is expanding. This is the location of Australia's first dedicated heart hospital which is now under construction. And a further boost will come in the form of the suburban rail loop east which will see a new transport super hub built at Clayton. The first stage of this 90 kilometre project will run from Cheltenham to Box Hill revitalising the surrounding areas. 
construction due to begin in 2022, creating 8,000 jobs. And strong population growth is expected to continue, bringing about much urban renewal. These factors are identified in the state planning instrument and all go well for future housing demand. All right, well, here we are. Time for our number one. The top spot for our top five Melbourne hotspots for 2022 is the Brimbank Local Governmental Area. Significant growth in Sunshine and the suburbs of the Brimbank LGA is expected in the future now that the route for the Melbourne Airport Rail Link has been determined. This will elevate the role of Sunshine as a major rail hub, complementing the State Planning Authority's vision of Sunshine as a national employment and innovation cluster. So the precinct's property market is already buoyant delivering double digit price growth in several suburbs over the past year, while its affordability has made it popular with first home buyers. Further public and private investment is expected to build on the $1 billion spent in the last five years. And Bringback LGA is located near the Melbourne Airport and the Port of Melbourne, making it a strategic location as a freight hub. Now, as part of the recent $5 billion regional rail upgrade, several train stations within the LGA were upgraded or rebuilt, with Sunshine being a key gateway between the regional cities of Ballarat, Bendigo and Geelong and the Melbourne City CBD. Now, urban renewal with former industrial areas being converted to residential is a major factor in this market, along with strong long-term capital growth rates. So guys, that rounds out the top five Melbourne hotspots for 2022. Just a reminder, if you want to find out how we help our clients quickly build an asset base that pays them $2,000 a week or more in passive income, pays their home off up to three times faster and saves them thousands in tax every year, then simply click the link on offer, I should say. Now have a great week, guys. That's it from me today. And remember, there's only one thing in life that makes a difference. That's action. Thanks a lot and bye for now.